So many people don't realize that you can actually sort via a formula in Excel. And I'm going to show you this and loads of other sort things that you should know about in Excel, including multi-level sorting, sorting by custom lists, ways that you can sort without breaking your data in other columns and more. My name is David and I'm gonna have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tickle the Workplace that I'm covering on my channel. So let's get started on this. So your data in Excel, what you wanna do is in the home tab, you have sort and filter and then add filter icons. And then text, you can sort A to Z or Z to A. Numbers, you can sort smallest to largest, largest to smallest. Dates, you can choose oldest to newest, newest to oldest. Now, I do like that because you need to be careful of something that could really make your data go wrong. As you can see, my last two columns don't have that filter icon. And that is because I do have this kind of hidden slash tiny column G. So if you do that, then you end up sorting these columns and not sorting these columns, which means your data is now completely wrong. The only way to get around that is to undo it with control Z until we get to the opposite. And then what you wanna do is a couple of things. Either you want to select all your data and then go to sort and filter and add your filters like that. Or the way that I like to do it is make sure that you have completely blank rows around your data and no blank rows and columns inside your data. Because if you do that, then control shift L or insert filter, which is the same thing, can do it in the right way. I also like to avoid using this one because it is a little bit confusing. You have the A to Z icons there and there. Same here, you have A to Z. It's sometimes confusing what A to Z means when you've not got text and you've got letters and numbers. And also it will not give you any visual indicator if it does sort some columns, but not the others. So do avoid using that in my opinion. I much prefer the filters and then you can see exactly what you're doing and which ones have the filter icon next to them. And also after you've done the sorting, it will do this symbol next to the one that it's been sorted by. That is only temporarily though, and it only works if you do single column sorting. Another thing that you can do with sorting is that you can, if you want to sort by color, not something I ever really do because it does that first color and then it doesn't account for what happens after that. Um, sometimes I'll use filter for color, but usually I will avoid doing it, but you have cell color and font color as well. So instead of that, I'm going to go to this one and just choose largest to smallest there. In the data tab, you have these clear reapply and advanced things. So if you have just sorted, and then this one for some reason changes to Europe. Now, if I reapply, it will move that to where it is. Obviously Egypt is never going to be in Europe, so that's not gonna be how you do it. So clear will get rid of the icon, but not change the sorting order. It does work for filters though. And you've got this one, and this one's really useful to know. So this is if you want to do multi-level sorting, or if you want to do a sort order that is not A to Z. So if you click on that, you can choose, first, I want to sort by continent, and then I want to add a level, and then I want to sort by size, and then I want to add a level, and I want to sort by birth rate, for example. And here I can choose A to Z, Z to A, largest to smallest, like that, press OK, and now is sorting by those three. It will show you this icon on the last one that it sorts by. That's how they've chosen to do it. Now, if you want to do something else, I can, for example, remove this one. So delete this one. I can also copy a level or reprioritize this. So this one can go like that. Now, what if I want to sort by day of the week? So I can go here and I can choose add a level. And then I can say sort by day. And I don't want A to Z for day of the week, so I'm gonna choose a custom list. And it's got these ones pre-built. So I'm gonna press OK. Press OK, and now it sorts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, if I wanna make my own list, for example, here I've got small is after medium, which is after M. But let's say, for example, these were called little. So I'm going to type in little like that. Control Enter will change for all of them. And now I can go to the sort options and I can say, in size, I'm going to choose a custom list. And here I'm going to add a new list and it's going to be large, comma, medium, comma, little, and then press OK. And now I'm going to press OK like that and it's going to sort them large, medium, little there. Now what about if you had a 
list the other way around. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to click here and I'm going to paste special and I'm going to choose transpose values and numbers formats. If I want to sort it horizontally, I can go to the sort column here and I can choose options and I can say sort left to right. You also have the option of case sensitive, which I've never used, but I could say I want to sort this based on uh, row number eight and then press OK. And now it's going to sort it like that. Uh, do be aware though that you lose your headers like this. There's no way to lock in the headers that I know of if you are using this horizontal sorting. But it's good that you can have it every now and again, it becomes useful. So Excel has a sort function equals sort. And then if you select the whole couple of columns and then you close your brackets because that's the only mandatory one, it will sort them A to Z by the first column. Uh, but know a couple of things. Firstly, your dates, if you have them or any number formats, don't get cap copied across. So you would have to select your dates and go to the date format here to change that. Secondly, I lose my headers. So my headers were there, which is uh, where I want them. But if I use this one, it will just put my headers over here, which is definitely not where I want them. And thirdly, what about if we want to sort something more advanced? So equals sort. And then we're going to take, say, the first two columns. And then sort index, I'm going to choose number two. And then I can choose the sort order. And I'm going to choose this one minus one and then whether i want to sort by row or by column so that's for horizontal or vertical sorting if you leave it blank it's usually what you want so here we go all the countries sorted by population from highest to lowest and that has given us the headings at the top but that is kind of a coincidence and it's just because text comes after or is greater than numbers so this population is greater than any number would be so what about if we wanted to do something a little bit more sophisticated? So let's say if we change this to ascending, suddenly I've lost my headers and they are actually right at the bottom. So what you want to do if you are going to use the sort is do something a little bit trickier. So I'm going to use VStack. VStack means vertical stacking. So it means that I'm going to stack just these two, for example, on top of the rest. So if I just do it like that, it will just do it with no change. But in the second one, I'm going to put sort around here and I'm going to do sort these. My sort index is going to be the second column and my sort order is going to be descending. And now I have them like this and it is more robust. Or if I change this to plus one, it would still work and keep the headers. So that's what VStack does. It vertically stacks my header, which is just one row on top of the rest. Um, this is a dynamic array. So there's a blue outline around it. If you did have some text here, it would give you that spill error, which means I'm trying to spill over that stuff, but you need to delete it and it'll go away. So uh, really, really useful, this sort function. Um, there is also a more advanced one called sort by. I don't tend to use this very often. This is if you want to sort by something that is not in the array. So let's say, for example, that I have these two columns, comma, and then by array, I want to sort it by this column, comma, and then I want to sort this one, um, say, descending, and then I can do a second column as well. So I can also say, then sort by this column, comma, and then sort order is going to be one. There we go. So it's sorting these two columns first by size and then by life expectancy. Yeah, and you also want to V-stack it in certain instances if you want the header to stay consistent. I'm is David Benham, and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. I love talking about the new stuff and you can download this file if you want 